course, you're as nimble as ever. Now, carry me to my house on the other side of the mountain. I have to carry you the whole way? Uh, I'm so weak. I'm so frail. Ugh, fine. Another vineyard? I am nothing if not consistent, my friend. Ah, much better. No one makes a hasty exit like you. You're welcome. to the newest of the Marcos estates. I wasn't expecting company, but one must... Marcos, I... Believe it, my friend. I'm not a man of one city, but of all cities. Been here long? Long enough to establish myself as the foremost wine cellar in Kos. Well, the one wine cellar in Kos. The koans will come around... It... You made it a... I could say the same to you. Did you find what you... I did. I found my mother. What a coincidence! I found my mama too! Here? In Kos? Since Kos is her home, Kos is my home too! Say hello, mama! Your mama? You talk... Right, this is my adopted mama. We've become so close, she wouldn't have it... Come on, Marcos. <laughs> Well, Mama is the owner of the vineyard. When her husband met his untimely death, it was going to be auctioned off. Something had to be done. So you stepped in to help. <laughs> how generous. It's ridiculous a wonderful lady such as Mama cannot inherit her own property. Now we run the vineyard together. Isn't that right, Mama? She'd put up a fuss if she disagreed. It's her land, but she shares it with her precious son. Me! It's a nice place you've come and... <laughs> if I didn't know you so well, I'd think you were serious. I'm... You weren't laughing much when you were tied up in that... Uh, about that. I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Why am I not surprised? But it's something I know you could help me with, my friend. Go on. You know me. I borrow some drachmi, and before I know it, they're calling me the Khan of Kos. All thanks to the Cerberus. The Cerberus? First the Cyclops, now this? Don't tell me it's a three-headed dog. Don't be ridiculous. This is nothing like the Cyclops. This time I wish to make a peace off. Finest. A palato. Cassandra, you're like family to me. And since I'm family to you, I'm sure you would... <sighs> you're sure, are you? I promise I can afford to pay you this time. Just take my wine to the Cerberus. Simple. Fine. For old time's sake. I can always count on you. And the Cerberus can count on a nice wine pairing with dinner. Take it to his house. The Cerberus better not bite me. Are you the Cerberus? Who wants to know? Whew. Only one head. A gift for you. 
Have you ever had Marcos's wine? It's the best of the best. What's so good about it? If you savor your wine, you'll like it. He's not gonna win me over with wine. I never forget whose purse my drachmi goes into. It's a peace offering. I thank you for waiting so patiently for him to pay you back. Hmm. Then drink with me, if you think it's so good. All right. <coughs> it's poisoned! No! That's just the wine! You tricked me! Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Guards! Guards! <sighs> I still have the taste of Marcos's wine in my mouth. Cerberus wants to order another amphora's worth. The wine made us sick, Marcos. Impossible. It was my best batch. I double-checked. If you wanted him dead, you should have told me. I did tell you. I'm a new Marcos. I don't want people dead. I want what's right. But that isn't good news. No, it's not good. The Cerberus will come after you. What to do? What to do? What am I saying? Cassandra, this is when we strike. Strike? You and what army? I have a demigod for a best friend! That's an army as... You have it all figured out. There's only three of them, plus their little group of men. It was... Three? Why do you think they're called the Cerberus? Because they're three brothers. Triplets. E Great. So there are two... Wait a minute, wait a minute! That means two of them haven't tried my wine! So what are you going to do? They need to be spooked. As Mama says, a threat is like a bear. Very scary. We'll burn the Cerberus' farm. Specifically, the silos. That's not a good idea. When have you had reason not to trust me? Don't answer that, my friend. Just trust me. It better work. It's even worth sacrificing them as potential customers. Do you want the crops burned, too? They grow herbs, harmless plants for medicine. It's just the silos that should go. You couldn't have mentioned there were th I thought it was implied, having- That's a lot of Cerberuses. Let's hope they don't procreate and have Cerberus puppies. I'll pay their farm a visit. Give them a good scare. I'm pretty sure it's the farm in Astipalia City. The farm in Astipalia City? I burned those silos and I- What? Their soldiers are always... I'm sure. There were only... No dogs and no Cerberus. Maybe it's not their farm after all. It won't stop the Cerberus from... Are you going to make me beg? Because I'll beg... <sighs> Marcos! Have I led you down the wrong path? A few times, yes. Many times, maybe. But this is it. I can't keep you safe if you keep getting into trouble, Marcos. Think back to that sunny day when I found you, Cassandra. That was your day of need, and Marcos came to the rescue. Come to my rescue today! I've paid you back plenty. That I can't deny. But the Cerberus will come with its dogs and its devotees, and I'll be finished! Protect me! There's that we... I'll tell you what. You protect me, and you get Mama's beloved battle axe. She used to be quite the fighter, believe it or not. All right. Oh, I've never heard words more. That's why I do what. And just in time, I hit. All right, Marcos. This is it. The grand finale. Ugh! <sighs> 
I was invincible, but I don't want to jinx myself. Yes, that's why you're alive. I joke, I joke. I owe you everything, Cassandra. For this life will now be simple. All th <laughs> less dramatic life. Go now and adventure. Come right. Well <laughs>